The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I'd like to announce I'm going to have a new Twitter service that starts on Monday. I made an arrangement with some of my friends in Washington, D.C., that we will get the tweets coming from President Trump five minutes early. So if you're interested in joining that, please send cash. Don't send credit cards. Anyway, boys and girls, it looks like we have a tweeting-type world today. I would like to give you my two cents worth of what I think is happening here. Uh, you'll remember that 2935, 2940, how important that was. We've now broken 35 handles. The key number to watch today, from my perspective, is 2916 in the S&P and 7685 in the NASDAQ. If we don't get any higher than that in the next three or four hours, we are going down, and we are going down big time next week. So let's keep a close eye on those numbers. With the next tweet, we could be at 2960. You just never know. Okay, let's move on to one of the things that we've been watching for quite some time, which is the DAX. You'll notice that blue line has really held the market. It just doesn't want to get above that level. Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with you know the tariffs or anything like that. It's just a major resistance line. Now, if we take a look at the, at the FTSE, You'll get up here, and you'll see that this even looks even bearish. It's in a really strong downtrend, and uh, really looks like it got a chance to have a rally here, but frankly, it doesn't look like it this morning. But uh, that's what we're watching. Now, the pound has had a pretty good rally yesterday. We got up to that uh, 122.80 uh, level. We backed off right to the 38% level last night at 122. We're up about 30 pips from that level, so it's holding up okay. So uh, the one, the key to watch will be the euro. I will cover the euro in the uh, in the in very very shortly, but I did want to talk a little bit about the German bond because it was in the news yesterday. It had that 30 billion dollar offering, and only 879 million was subscribed. But the bonds didn't drop very much. You see, they gapped down a little bit and haven't really moved very much from that level. That market's been very very strong, especially here in the United States. Of course, we've had dropping open interest as prices went up in notes and bonds which is usually bearish, but uh, right now they're having a still down on the day, but had a pretty good rally off the bottom. We rallied about a full point in the bonds uh, after the news of the uh, tariffs thing coming out. Uh, I have no idea about the tariffs, folks. I was going to have Rich Anderson on today, but unfortunately, the, one of his neighbors uh, passed away unexpectedly, and uh, he's going to be uh, working with the family uh, so we'll get him on again. I wanted to uh, mention one other thing that looks interesting that we got from uh, Dennis Gartman, and uh, he has some really great information. Uh, Dennis and I are about the same age, and we've been around for a long time. He's he's quite famous, but let's take a look here what he's talking about. This comes from uh, the uh, the firms of the uh, uh, of the FINA. And the NYSE, it just shows you the margin. And remember, this is a long term, folks. This goes back, you know, quite a few few years. You can see when margin debt gets expanded, it's near the tops. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But he's bringing that to your attention because uh, it is on balance. The margin use is, is usually ahead of the market. So whether this is a, is true or not, we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. But that key level of 2940 was very, very important in the S&P, and we came off of it very, very fast. So those are my key things to look at. Just remember those numbers that I'm looking at, 2916 in the S&P, 7685 in the NASDAQ. Those are, those are key numbers. They're game changers. And if we don't get above those numbers in a few hours and we head down, we're going to be looking at something pretty nasty. Uh, this is technically talking, folks. I don't know anything about the fundamentals or the tweets or anything like that.
And uh, <laughs> folks, I was joking about the Twitter account. Please understand, I was joking. I was trying to make a little bit of levity here on uh, Friday. I am not a Twitter person, and I shan't be. I don't do social uh, media, and social media doesn't do me either. So let's look at what's going on next here. Let's talk just a little bit about one of the markets that we've been following very, very closely here uh, for you folks. Uh, we've been uh, fortunate to be able to get uh, short the crude oil up at that really key level of uh, 57 and change. Uh, we now broke badly. Let me get this chart up here so we can see it. And where is it? I just put it here. Oh, dear, dear. Here we go. Here we go. Get it up here right now. There we go. Get it up here. We'll see. We just completed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got uh, uh, we've had uh, one subscriber already, Jim. So <laughs> anyway, let's hold on here. This is the uh, crude oil. We missed the 61 percent retracement by about 15 pips. We've only rallied about uh, oh, 75 pips off that. But we did complete a perfect ABCD down there. And that was the, you know, the price objective. You'll notice that the top of the page there that we were talking about there just was just on this was yesterday, as a matter of fact, oh, no, day before yesterday. When we were completing that ABCD pattern there at 57, you know, that's the one that, you know, really gave you a really, really low risk entry point. And, you know, now you're, uh, you know, you're almost $4 under that. And that's that's a pretty hefty uh, figure. That's equivalent to 80 S&P points. And this thing moves around really fast. So uh, that's where this is key support. Anything below 53 now in the crude oil. And it's got, you know, real serious problems. So um, this is one of the ones that... It uh, worked pretty good. Let's uh, also talk just a little bit. Uh, any, by the way, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. That's what you'd like to be calling. Let's take a quick look here uh, at the euro. This is the one that we're really following because of what's going on in the U.S. dollar and everything. Uh, uh, there's a possibility here that we could get to par at, excuse me, 110, not par, par is one. At 110 here, uh, if we break down to this move, there's an ABCD there level. We're trading around 110.60 right now. It's a Friday. Uh, this The euro has not turned yet, uh, but it's really trying to turn, folks. It's really trying to, to make a difference. Let me show you my interpretation of this. And here again, this is all technical stuff. So uh, just bear with me here. Here's where we were in the U.S. dollar index on last Friday. We were up there at that 98 level. Now let's take a quick look. I did this this morning, so I hope fully that we have it. Oh, shucks. I'm going to have to do it at the break because I don't have it right now. Boy, oh, boy. Well, I put these in here, and you think I know where they are, but by golly, they just keep uh, – disappearing on me shut the front door and raise the rent okay let's move on here i will bring it up at the break you know to take a look at it to uh, the main thing that we want to watch let's let's move on to another one that uh, well we got a break coming up then I'll, i'm going to post the dollar index for you and then we need to talk about natural gas because uh we're we're getting really close in natural gas folks whether that means much or not you know i don't know but we'll nobody else does either that's the good part you know Okay. Uh, okay, let's uh, see what we got here. I guess it's a break. I wish I had a clock to tell me when the exact time was. And there it is. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of last Friday's dollar index followed by the update today. Folks, you can see that there's a giant battle going on here between the U.S. dollar and the euro. Uh, we're right at that really critical level. In fact, the U.S. dollar is holding up much better than I thought it would be, given the fact that the euro traded below, you know, 110.70. Uh, we're trading at 110.66 here right now. But this is a really key level here in the dollar index. Remember, this is all technical, has nothing to do with fundamentals, because I, uh, it's a little beyond my pay grade. But if you look at here, there could be a possible double top up in here. We've made a 78% retracement. It's taken us almost three weeks to do it. And uh, at the same time, the euro has gone down and tested several times to see if it's going to hold that level. But we'll have to uh, wait and see. And uh, that's what we're keeping a close eye on. So uh, that's what we're watching here, you know, early this morning as we uh, look at uh, the euro versus the U.S. dollar. I've already posted the euro chart to show you that uh, if that dollar does break out to the upside, you have to be prepared for it potentially to be a false breakout because there is a great deal of support at 110. In the euro, you just look at the ABCD patterns on the euro on the daily. You'll see two of them measuring there, and they're also at a 1.618 expansion. All of that makes it, uh, you know, very, very uh, important. Now, you notice the British pound has been one of the stronger of the currencies, which is uh, highly unusual given the fact that their stock market is so weak, and yet. 
it looks like maybe they have something in that could be planned in Brexit. It rallied over 200 pips coming off of the bottom. Uh, then it backed off 38%, and now we're trading at 122.40, up about 40 pips from there. And so we'll watch that to see how it un unfolds. Now, the next one that, uh, that we're going to do, and this will be the last one that I show for trading, folks, because I keep these for the 24-7 subscribers for TFNN, those that support, you know, but Tom and myself and everybody else it's very very important but since we've been talking about this one for quite some time I want to bring it to your attention because we have a really interesting pattern coming here uh, due very very shortly here in this uh, natural gas I'll get it up here so that you can uh, see it here uh, yes, I'll have uh, Jerome Powell will be my guest at the break. I just called uh, Jackson Hole, and uh, he'll be he'll be our guest on the last half hour of the program. So if you have any questions for the Federal Reserve Chairman, you know, please give us a call in here. But he's due to call in. Uh, gosh, I hope he can find an open line there. He said he was going to try. Anyway, take a look here at the natural gas, folks. This is a 15-minute chart. It goes back over the last two weeks, so you get some really nice patterns. You can see the ABCD at the top up there at 227. And if you did this on an hourly basis, and that's what your homework is today, see why the 227 was so important. And you'll be very, very surprised to see it was also one of those perfect ratios, perfect ABCD. And uh, that's why you want to watch it very closely. But look at the price down here at 210. We're now trading at roughly 212, I believe. I think I saw a trade there just a little while ago I'm not sure so we're getting very very close I think this would be set up for Monday most poss possibly but at 210 uh, you'd be a buyer at 208 you take your $200 loss and move on so that's got double ABCD patterns there. You can see them very clearly. The last one was a BC swing, which is 382 retracement. The larger ABCD from August the 15th to where we are now, 10 days later, measures there at 210 also. But remember, these patterns do fail. For, oh, I just got news from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, that uh, he's been invited to a brunch, and so he's not going to be able to uh, be on our show this morning but he apologizes uh, and uh, he said that he will try to be on the next time he's in the hole there at Jackson Hole I don't know if you folks have ever been there but that is a really beautiful place uh, I actually like Montana better than I like uh, that than I like Wyoming but it's uh, it's pretty pretty cool anyway if you never if you ever google it you'll see that there's buffalo and moose and you know all kinds of stuff uh, running around the, the prairie just like the old days up in there so it's really uh, pretty nice okay yeah it's the old badlands you're absolutely right as a matter of fact I was watching a, an old movie last night called the badlands with Alan Ladd and it was filmed here in Tucson Arizona at the old Tucson studios it's still operate as a, an amusement park, but they don't film any music, uh, uh, any uh, movies there anymore. Many of John Wayne's pictures, Rio Grande, and uh, uh, that one with Dean Martin, uh, El, what was it, what was it called, uh, like El Dorado, those were filmed here uh, in Tucson. But uh, it's just now an amusement park. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we've I've covered the crude oil. Uh, that that has just completed now. We have really strong support at that $53 a barrel in, in crude. If crude grows below $53 a barrel, folks, I you know it's got a chance to go a whole lot lower. Remember, one of the reasons that we were looking at crude oil from the bearish side is the daily chart. You see that 135 pattern that we had there? You're in a downtrend. Remember 77 was the high on the weekly chart. We went from 77 to 42 with basically, you know, no help at all from the bulls. And then we rallied back and now we've had this move. You know, we could easily be looking to go back to 43 again. I mean, this, you know, it's been there before. It was back there in 2017. It was there in 2018. Uh, and it might be there in 2019 you don't know if these deflationary forces pull up because of these tariffs i mean you could you could look at a lot of a lot of things making it go a lot worse here okay um 
Yes, Gator, I know. He he apologized for not being able to be on, but uh, what can you do? He's the chairman of the Federal Reserve, and, you know, we were fortunate enough to have Bern, uh, uh, Alan Greenspan on once, and also we had uh, Ben Bernanke on a couple of times. Of course, that's in my imagination, but, you know, they, I don't know if they'd be able to tell, tell us anything, because all we're looking at is little numbers on the charts. We're looking at little tiny, little scratch marks called a bar chart. That's what means the most, folks. If prices are going up there's more buyers if prices are going up there's more sellers that's the main thing that you want to uh you know keep a keep a close eye on here so those are some of the things that we want to show one other chart that's real interesting here uh in the e-mini s p verifying the importance of that resistance this comes from our friend mike up in uh, canada and you notice it's been in a downtrend you notice those that those, that area of that 29.40, that 61% retracement, it hit it four times. And, of course, now uh, we went down and we're, went down below 29.05 for a bit there. So it does say that that is a very, very strong resistance. That's why the chart that I just posted there from Mike is why it is so bearish, folks. Because we had the big drop into August 5th. Then we had the... A 10-day rally, uh, actually two weeks, that would be three weeks, yeah, three weeks. We had a three-week rally, we're stopping at the 78% level four times. Folks, we've seen this happen so many times, you have to start believing in these numbers. I mean, maybe they work, maybe they don't. But if we close below 2,900 today, you're going to be looking at something around 2,500 in the S&P sometime in early September, around the 8th, 12th, 15th, somewhere around that ballpark is my guess. And that's what we're looking at. 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors
spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and um, let's take a quick look here at the uh, Treasury notes on long-term basis. You can see uh, made a 1.27 expansion and a 78% retracement, uh, but the one we were watching, of course, last week, which was the one where we had that uh, uh, five-point reverse wave. We'll put that up here so you can see it. This just was the day of the full moon on the 15th, uh, coming really close to that time, too. It was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 expanding triangle. Uh, we broke uh, 63, 163 to the downside. Uh, today, we rallied a full point uh, at when the news came out about the tariffs. So that's going to be very interesting. But that should be a significant top here uh, in the bonds. But uh, remember, this is only three days down, so that really doesn't mean anything. The bond bulls have no reason to be uh, to be afraid. I think the most important, uh, there's yes, uh, Marshall, I'll cover the copper in just one second, but uh, there's no reason for the bulls to feel any different in the Treasury bonds with the exception of what happened in Germany, the fact that that, that German bond offering was uh, undersubscribed by 30 to 1. That, that's, a, that's a huge amount. Let's take a quick look here uh, at Dr. Copper for Mr. Marshall. Get this up here and take a quick see copper I don't know why they do it that way but that's it let's get it here we are uh, well you know we're actually holding the bottom okay uh, we went below the 78% level so frankly uh, I'd, I'd have to give this a pass uh, uh, Marshall uh, well it is a it's very close well just a minute here just a second here this little thing's a little sensitive this morning Oh, dear. What happened here? Give me a second, folks. I don't know what's happening with the old computer, but oh, dear. Why does it do this to me? <laughs> uh, this is the best I can do. I'm not going to try to. Oh, man. You know, all of my frustrations in this business comes from the darn computer, so I don't know. Let's get it up here. You can see uh, this is close as I can get, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, but you'll notice the old low we had down here was at uh, 253. The low we had today was 253. We're trading 255. If you wanted to see that's a double bottom, uh, that's up to you. But frankly, on a Friday, I wouldn't touch it. I really wouldn't. I'd just say, hey, let's, uh, let's move on and uh, play another game because it's just uh, it's a low risk but uh, that's a risk I don't think you need to take because you only have that you're only banking on uh, two things uh, one is that expansion is going to be no longer than or no bigger than 1.618 at 253 and there's a double bottom so uh, but you're at 255 now that's $500 you want to take that risk I don't think it's worth it but that's just my two cents worth okay let's move on here let's have a little fun this morning folks since we have the uh, the old Federal Reserve out there doing their things with uh, whatever that place is let's get this up here and I want to bring up here we'll take a look this is one of the reasons why this I don't know if it's going to happen or not but let me let me post the uh, post the AI thing for the uh, for the S&P here today uh, you, well you can see here watch 11 o'clock folks if we don't get any higher than 2920 or something like that by 11 o'clock uh, this market is really in bad shape and it's going to go down a whole lot so remember this is only experimental but it does have some pretty good things that make you uh, want to see that they're that they're working okay if we take a look at this on a little bit longer time frame let's just get this up here so we can see it we've talked about this uh, earlier this morning we're going to talk about it now the fact that we hit that level so many times it just it's very important technically hold on one second you, you notice that we hit the 61 percent retracement on august the 8th we hit it again on the 13th we hit it again on the 19th we hit it again on the 21st we hit it on the 22nd we hit it on the 23rd we hit it six times folks that's what they call resistance and we took out we 
took out yesterday's low at uh, 29.05. Uh, we got down to 29.04, uh, 29.02 and a half today. So that's uh, telling you that there's something not right and that this is nothing to do with fundamentals. This is just looking at the chart. You know, he could come out with a tweet saying, hey, we just finished the old Chinese deal and this thing could be trading at 3,000. And that's why you have to protect yourself above 2950 because if it gets there, you know, we could easily see uh, uh, a price of that level. And the fact is, if you just look at this, well, let's get this up here on the daily. Well, I don't want to do that one because that's a little bit too much here to take a look at. Hold on one second here. I've got one other question that someone's asking me about. And if you'll give me a minute, I will bring it up here for you. Uh, we're getting this crude oil moving. This is what I like to see. Okay. Um, I covered the, the answer in copper, so we'll see. I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about the uh, Japanese yen because it's in that same area. We're down in an area where it hasn't really moved very much which is uh, a relatively unusual given the fact what the U.S. dollar has done. And uh, so it could easily come out of here almost like a double bottom from where we were just a, a few weeks ago. So those are ones that we're looking. Folks, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, and I will be uh, – be able to uh, look at that. Uh, look, David, I thought that that was a quote by uh, uh, Henry Ford. Uh, you know better than I do, but I did like Vince Lombardi, that's for sure. Okay, um, move on here. The VIX index, because we did talk about this. This is, could also be indicative of what's happening in the market here. Hold on one second here. You'll see that uh, we did get down just to below 16 level and with the market weakening this morning. It will probably be above that uh, 17 level in the VIX, but it's still, we have increased volatility coming everywhere, folks, so get used to it. It's not going to be, uh, it's just going to be pretty wild. That's uh, the main thing to uh, take a look at. All right, uh, the, the live hogs, I think we covered the live hogs. Uh, they, I think I did. Did I? I think I did. I hope I did. I thought I would. I think I can. I think I can. I like fried eggs and spam. Let's move up here. No, that's not what I wanted to show you. Just a second here. Oh, Bitcoin. There was another, the other question. Hold on. Here's the Bitcoin. And remember, we have gold and Bitcoin look pretty much the same as far as the charts. I don't think they have anything to do with each other. But uh, you notice we've had higher bottoms now. Since the 15th of August, we've had four of them, the one, including the one today. Uh, it's very important that Bitcoin stays above 9,600 because going below 9,600 sets up an AD, ABCD structure all the way back to uh, 8,000. And that, in fact, it's a lot longer. It's, it could be down to 7,200. So it's important that we stay above 9,600 in the Bitcoin. And whether that's the case or not, we'll be able to see. The gold is having a nice run here. Uh, 1516. It's been following along really nicely. Let's just take a quick look here at the old gold, and we will. Where are you, gold? Where are you, gold? Gold, 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 gold. Here we go. Let's get it up here so we can take a quick look at it here, and uh, we'll be able to see it pretty easy here because this will be the time where. There we go. Let's get the old gold up so you folks can take a look at it, and we'll see where we are here. Uh, we're almost up in this area here. Um, We've got about another uh, oh, about another 20 minutes in the gold, and it should start down. Whether that's going to be the case or not, I don't know, but uh, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. 
A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First mortgage program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First mortgage program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're going to uh, do something a little different here to fill up some time that might be interesting to you as an experiment. You know, I work on this stuff with the computers and uh, with the artificial intelligence neural networks, and we have something extremely unusual today, folks. We have seven different commodities that are signaling a time of 10 o'clock. That's in 18 minutes. So uh, watch the, the action in at 10 o'clock. I don't know if there's a report coming out or not, but I see the same thing in crude oil. I see the same thing in gold. I see the same thing in the E-mini S&P. I see the same thing in the euro. I see the same thing in treasury bonds and the same thing in the British pound. I mean, there are six of them right there that all have the exact same time at 10 o'clock. And that usually means a turn of some kind. If it's going up, it goes down. If it's going down, it goes up. But watch it. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. But keep an eye on that because it's very unusual that you see all six of them signaling that 10 o'clock is the uh, a very, very important time frame. So that's what we're keeping an eye on this morning. So whether that means much or not, I don't know. But let's take a look at the the. Uh, transportation index on the weekly chart folks this is one of the reasons for the long-term bearishness we topped in 2018 in the transportations in October broke down to the 61 percent retracement there on December the 26th from there we rallied up to the 78 percent level just spot on that completed the perfect head and shoulders pattern and that is perfect if you look at the left shoulder and the right shoulder the time between the shoulder and the head is exactly equal between the head and the right shoulder the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder i.e. bearish and then you can see we have the lower tops coming in and we did make a lower low this week and I think we're going to be going a lot lower before it is all over because this is a very negative chart pattern we would have to get the uh, transportation above 10,900 in order to invalidate this pattern because it is uh, you could write a textbook well 
H.M. Gartley did write a textbook about that. So that's one of the ones that, uh, you know, makes us uh, look at this thing as, uh, very, as very, very bearish. The other one that is quite bearish that involves us all, which is the money, and that is the banking index. And as you can see here, the same thing, the banking index last week hit the 61% retracement spot on. We've been rallying uh, all week. I haven't updated it. I don't think we've taken out that low yet. Uh, I don't think we should have anyway, but uh, that's important because if we take out that low, then you're looking at something uh, a little bit different. But here again, the banking index topped well over a year and a half ago, folks. So that is telling you that the market is a market of stocks, and that's what's happening. You're seeing rollovers in different things. So pay close attention. Let's get back to the gold and silver for just a little bit. The silver has been acting relatively well to gold. They're all popping up today. Uh, the platinum has had a, a nice move. We got all the way up to uh, – uh, 869 in the platinum today, uh, but we're a little bit lower right now. And uh, the the silver has acted relatively well. It has not backed off very much at all. Silver is still uh, well. It's quite a bit under where we were uh, last week. But let's get the gold up here first to take a look at it because the gold is now trading at what 1516. So it's down seven dollars on the week. And uh, after being down as low as 1503, three days in a row, it hit 1503. So that tells you 1503 is very, very important. And uh, that's a key figure now because of the fact that we took out last week's low by 10 uh, 20 cents in gold. And then of course, we had the big rally. What we do last night, we went right back to 1503 to test it and then it's rallied another $14 uh, to the upside so it's uh, it's given everybody a little bit of flavor uh, whether you want to be a buyer or seller there's no question about that but the silver is held up relatively well let's get this up here so that you can uh, see it here uh, Heck, we're trading. By golly, we're we're actually up on the week, which is hardly hard to believe. Yeah, the silver's up on the week now. That's a that's a positive sign. So it's held up relatively well too. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if it's going to uh, to keep that uh, keep that uh, dream alive for them. Oh, the Hang Seng. Uh, regarding the things in Hong Kong, folks, there are still a lot of problems over there. Uh, we watched a video last night. Some really nasty people uh very very <laughs> they're all young but by golly they're not very pleasant anyway we did make the big abcd almost a perfect double bottom to october uh and you're considering you know this was done a month ago those things didn't start until july right after the 61 percent retracement uh, it's been well over three weeks now but we made that 61 percent retracement at 29,000 in the hang Seng, and then we dropped all the way down to uh, 24,900 and we want to see what this rally is going to bring uh, as we as we come into uh, this coming week uh, we're down right now in the stock market but we could easily you know get moving uh, to the upside so we'll we'll see how we're doing just remember those those key figures that I talked about folks 29 uh, 16 in the uh, S&P 500 and 7685 if we don't get any higher than that at midday and we start down on the day do not be long stocks on Monday it is not going to be good uh, oh there we go better shut my mouth <laughs> hey, let's. That's my opinion, folks. I <laughs> sorry about that. That's my opinion. Just by looking at the charts, and uh, it, it just. And the reason why was it was basically that chart that Mike that Mike sent us from. Uh, well, it's the same chart that I just sent to you uh, on the S and P. You know why it was up there for so many times. I mean, that's exactly what it was doing. And so it's we had a, a bottom on August 5th. We rallied for three weeks. That's the most you're going to get in a bear market. Where did it rally to? It rallied to the 61% retracement. One, two, three, four, five times. What else does it want to do to you, folks? Send you a telegram. That's my opinion. So we'll see. Also, the, the Bradley model doesn't work all the time, but it's still pulling down into early September. And if it's right, and if it's right, and this closes below 2,900 today, it's not going to be pretty. So... Keep in mind, that's what we're watching, and that's a big 10-4. Okay, let's move on. To, oh, by the way, I will be uh, in London for a two-day seminar with Tom Hugard and Dr. Uh, David Paul. 
Let me get this up here. I'll put that uh, workshop information in there for you. I'm going to be sharing some really great stuff, some new things that uh, we worked on with uh, JJ, Mr. Jameson, and uh, it, I think it's going to be really fun to uh, share some of that. And then later on, maybe next year or late late this year, I'll share some of it on with my folks here at 24-7, which I plan to do uh, also. So that's another one that looks good. Oh, someone's asking a question about the IWM. Folks, here's another one that just like the transportation, it's been screaming and screaming and screaming that it wants to go lower. We made a really good bottom on Friday, and if we take out that 146 level in the in the uh, Russell, uh, that's trouble. Can someone tell me where the Russell is trading today, folks? Have we taken out that 146 level uh, in the Russell, I you know I can do that myself. Hold on just a second here because we got a break coming up, and when we get back, I will show you what that thing looks like, and then we will move on and let's get up this Russell, and then we will get this chart up so you'll be able to see it. I W M is right here, and uh, oh no no we're far far away. We're only we're for 148 and a half, so we're pretty cool there. As long as uh, well if we go below 146, it's not going to be good. Hey, oh look at the Nasdaq. Bye bye. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, there's Mr. Bills just saying that Al Larson's moon tides hit, and boy, that's close within six minutes of what I'm looking at, too. That has nothing to do with moon tides. Well, maybe it does. I don't know, but I will tell you this. Dr. Al's one of the smartest dudes I've ever met. He's in the top five. The two Arrington brothers at uh, uh, Ensign is there, and then we have John Jameson. We also have Jimmy Elder out there in Birmingham, Alabama. And there's a couple others that I'm sure I'm missing, but uh, let me tell you, that guy is, uh, Dr. Al is really smart. And not only that, he's a devil-may-care type good guy. He's one of the really nice folks. And Marshall, you got it. And Marshall Robinson, of course, along with his lovely bride, Lynn. Uh, folks, at 10 o'clock, uh, it's, it's, it's just a timing thing based on a vibration. It acts like a magnet. But the, the, the fact is that they're having so many of them together is uh, is what's so amazing that all of them are coming together. So that means it's something that most probably looks like we're going to have a little bit of a rally here in stocks. But uh, just keep in mind those numbers that I gave you before are still very, very important. And uh, 29.16 in the S&P and 76.85 in the S and the NASDAQ. Watch those numbers uh, very, very closely. So we'll see. Uh, Maria is saying something about 150 BP cut at this day. The stock market is off 3% from whatever the ATHS is high is. That's not a panic. When you get the stock market down uh, 1,000 points, then that's a panic. And we will see sometime in this move, the biggest move we've had down so far is 900 points, folks. And if you multiply the 900 times 1.618, you're never going to guess. We're going to have a $1,500. I know you are. I'm just teasing you, Maria. Uh, by the way, Maria, I'm going to be in uh, the U.K. I know you're over here now, but I'll be over there giving another seminar where I first met you many. How many years ago was that, Maria? Was it four it must have been four or five, I guess. Anyway, uh, oh, you're in France. What'd you do? Lose the sales contest? Sorry about that, dear. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, hey, God bless. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.